What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and um, I'm going to have to eat my words. I said I wasn't going to buy this, but after seeing enough of it ripped, and actually thanks to, um, you know, the folks that have been buying stuff off my eBay page, which I used to um, put into this, because this box is running between 350 and 400 I was able to get it at 375 from my LCS, but... Um, Looks like this stuff has been good. Lots of gold 50s coming out of this stuff. But really, it's more just like it's an interesting rip. And if you haven't seen this product yet, um, I like, I think, Run Good called this the uh, Inception box because it's a pack within a pack within a pack. And um, this is a little bit of a... Um, this is the second year that this has been back. Um, last year was the first time I brought it back, I think after, I want to say like 15 years. So you can see the size of these packs, they're monsters. And the reason is, they're tri-packs that have, um, they have a card inside of a, um, inside of a mag, inside of a one-touch already. And, um, you also then get a pack of, um... There's two refractor cards, and then there's another pack inside that has, like, I want to say five or six um, base cards in there, or you know, inserts. And you're going to get three autos in here, so two autos and one auto relic. So, yeah, we're going to do this and uh, just enjoy the rip and see what we can get out of here. And, uh, yeah, it should be kind of interesting. So let's see what we got here. Again, three autos. Seen some pretty cool stuff seen striker breaking a lot of this um it's an interesting breaker product just because of the, the format but there you go see one pack then led to another pack and then we've got the encased card behind it so we're going to do the encased card reveal first see if this was one of the autos we got a looks like we got a hitter at least and this is going to be santiago espinal luckily this is not well okay it's out of 15 it's not, oh, it's a pink, that's right. It's not the auto, so I'm kind of glad maybe it's not the auto of Espinal, but uh, so pink out of 15, so really low number there. They didn't make a ton of this stuff, and this is using that Pulsar um, background on here. So yeah, so you get your six encased cards. So we'll go through those here, and then you've got your packs here. I'm gonna be a little careful opening this up because I got a, a buddy of mine that collects wrappers. And um, I want to at least get one of these in good shape for him so he could add these to his collection. And you can see here, yeah, you open the pack and there's another pack inside. It's, it is super weird. It's a weird format. But I think it's kind of neat too. It's just like um, you're basically opening up 18 packs. All right, there we go. And then we're going to have our two refractor cards here. So George Springer and Max Kepler. So again, nice looking cards, kind of a neat design. So there's your two refractors. So you're kind of getting your three stacks of uh, everything there. So, all right, let's see what we get in our first, I guess your, your base pack. All right, we got Devers, Cavalli, Lindor, Vinny, Stanton, Alcantara, and then we got an insert back here of, this is the going, going, gone, of Aaron Judge, all right, so these can come in different parallels as well as just a non-numbered base, but, you know, kind of neat, they're, they're, they're different, I mean, it's more of a higher end set, you know, obviously I'm not going to be building a, a full set of these, but, um, Kind of, kind of gives me a top finest vibe, but um, yeah, it is very, very much one of the most unique uh, products you can get. I think across any sport because you don't see this type of packing. You do have your encased football, I guess, that comes out, which you do get one encased card, but definitely not something to this scale. This is a very, uh, very unique setup here. All right, encased card number two. We got a rookie, a horrible placement of the sticker, so it must be a good card. Cincinnati pitcher, 
Yeah. Graham Ashcraft. Well, that's our first auto. Not what we're looking for. So hopefully the next two autos are better than that, including the auto relic. Not what you want to see there. Gosh. There we go. Okay. The guys are sticking to each other here. All right. There we go. Our two refractors are going to be Goslin and Oscar Gonzalez. So put the refractors there. So, yeah, let me know if you picked this up. Did you think about it? I know some people rip cases of this stuff. We don't have the relic in here. We got Goldschmidt, Alec Thomas, Bly Madras. I haven't even heard of him yet. Kubler, Ian Happ, Piazza, and another going gone of Chipper Jones. All right. Not the fancy there. Let's try to go through this a little faster now that I got, got the hang of it here. I don't even know, I haven't seen any, LC, any LCSs that even sell just these by the pack. It'd be kind of crazy, right? I mean, you've got a 50-50 chance of hitting an auto. But it would be kind of an interesting, you know, $60 per pack type of thing. Let's see what we got here. Larry Walker. That looks like it's just going to be a base pristine. And again, yeah, these have the pristine label up there just to tell you that they were you know, basically in the encased structure. And then of course you got to deal if you get a monster hit out of those, do you take them out and send them in to get graded? I wouldn't have a problem with that. I'm actually going to be doing that with that Nolan Ryan auto that I got from a redemption here. Some of you have seen. Good Lord. All right. Get this out of here. All right, there's another Larry Walker on the refractor. We got a rookie back here of Oswaldo Cabrera. So that's a nice one there. Come on. It's like the double foil all sticks to itself. There we go. All right, another Ian Happ. Jeez, lots of Ian Happs. That's his all-star card. Oh, that's why, all-star card. Okay. Machado... Kenny Carey Carpenter, Plesak, Kyle Tucker. We have a gold of the, um, maybe a gold insert back there. Tucker, this is a player I've not even heard of. Carey Meyer. Oh, this is not going to be a, this is not going to be a, it's not a parallel. This is just, I think they do the orange. Yeah. This insert here, they just take the, the dual color of the team and throw it on there. So I thought it was the inside out. Or sorry, the going, going, gone. So that's a Brett Beatty rookie, at least. Nice little portrait card there. So we still have half the way to go. We got two more autos left in here. So let's see if we can get the same benefits some of these other guys have been getting. What do we got here? It's not an auto. Raphael Devers, and that's going to be just another base pristine. It's his American League card, so nothing crazy there. Yuck. Our two refractors. We got Ivan Herrera and Pasquitano on the blue, which will be the 75. Nice little color match there. What do you guys think of the cards? I mean, I do think they're pretty... They're unique. I think they stand out. Not bad at all. Actually, two rookies, technically. We'll put the Vinny to the side, since it's numbered. So, yeah, we should have at least... I want to say, like, four numbered cards. But we've only gotten... Well, we've got two. That's right, the first... In, uh, in case card was to 15, so a really short print there. We got oh, we got a die cut on the back, so we got the Mike Yastrzemski for the PC, Devin Williams, Barrios, Josh Smith, Mookie Betts, Dan Sweet Swanson, and our die cut is going to be Tatis Jr., and that's going to be the O Snap. 
just kind of a neat little insert here. This one I do not believe is numbered. It is the O-Snap number one. So that's a neat little die cut there. All right, so one insert basically per pack. Okay, we're gonna have our two autos here in these last two packs here. So one of them will be in the case, and the other one will be in the, um, I think in the pack. I think that's where the relic comes out of. So let's see what we got here. It is gonna be a yellow or gold maybe. Salvador Perez to 50, so it's another gold. So there's lots of gold coming out of this. So Salvi Perez at a 50, kind of glad that wasn't the auto, but I might, <laughs> a lot of Kansas City, the KC box here. So KC cards, if you're watching, box might've been intended for you. There we go, Jordan Walker, Refractor. Nice to see him on here. And we might have our Relic Auto in here, actually. Popular, gets a hitter at least. Demand, Phillies, Bryce Harper, Trey Turner, Reese Hoskins, okay. Reese Hoskins on the Auto Relic. On card. So hopefully that last auto is going to be a big one. And Jordan Walker on the refractor. Put that one in the good pile. All right. And then we still have, almost forgot our little loose pack here. Just a lot of wrappers. You should see the side of the camera here. <laughs> Lots of wrappers everywhere. Good Justin Morneau. Bellinger, Naylor, McCutcheon. I think we have, well, I'm not going to say a gold yet because it could have been just another insert. Trey Turner. And we're going to have a Riley Green on that rookie. Yeah, that dual color. So not a gold parallel there. So Riley Green, rookie. And last one, the encased card will be an auto. Let's hope it's a bigger name. But definitely a fun rip. I mean, it's something like this where 100 bucks cheaper. I could see where, you know, buying a case of this stuff would be super fun. So let's see what we got here. I'm afraid it's going to be a pitcher. Nope, it is going to be Oswaldo Peraza, number 250. So rookie auto on the insert. Okay, it's better. At least it's a rookie auto. So Peraza to 50. And we got our last second pack here. We got a Cronenworth and they drew waiters. This is gonna be another gold actually. Hold on, hold on one sec. Another gold. So definitely tons of gold coming out of these out of this product. They were not kidding. That's our third gold out of 50. We hit a number out of 25. So we had five numbered cards, I think. We'll do a recap here at the end. And then last base pack here. Don't expect anything crazy here. Maybe one more number if we're lucky. Kristen Yellick, Jock Peterson, Tatis, Tristan Casas, Edgar Martinez. What did we hit? Oh, there's something there. There's two inserts in here. Goldschmidt on the going, going, gone. And what's this? Swings of Summer Mookie Betts. I have not seen this one. So that might be a short print. I have not seen that one. I don't even see that. In, I don't remember seeing that in the checklist, but I didn't give it too much attention on the inserts there. So that might be something there. So Mookie Betts on the Swings of Summer insert. So... Okay, so that's going to wrap it up here. So really, unfortunately, didn't get any of the big rookies as far as Gunner, um, Volpe, um, and Adley and company. So we got a couple of the B and C tier guys.
But so we got the Mookie Betts Swings of Summer, the Riley Green uh, regular non-parallel, Walker on the um, Refractor Rookie, Tatis on the insert, Die Cut, Brett Beatty on the insert, and you got these Going Going Gones, which are okay. And then number card-wise, we got uh, the Waters to 50 Rookie, the Peraza Auto, probably the best card of the hit of the box, to 50 as well. Reese Hoskins on card auto relic, not numbered. The Pasquatino to 75. So that's numbered card number three. The Salvi to 50. So another gold. So yeah, lots of gold. It, it was definitely not a joke as far as the gold cards coming out of this. Devers on the pristine, not numbered. Walker, same thing. Pristine, not numbered. Uh, the Ashcraft, Stinker Auto there. Um, not numbered. And then the uh, Espinal, super short print of 15 out of, um, for the, uh, the AL version of his card. So, yeah, three encased, low numbered cards. And then I swear we had one more. I missed it. I had the one, uh, to, I thought I had one to, no, it was a 75. So, there we go. So, six, maybe seven numbered cards. So, definitely a lot of short print numbered cards, lots of gold. So definitely, um, you know, there's a lot of potential to hit a really good short print card out of this. But honestly, for me, um, you know, I'll nickel and dime a little bit of this back, but probably obviously not all of it. That Peraza is probably going to be my best shot if I wanted to sell that one, given, you know, Yankee fans are always buying their rookies and that's a low number auto. So I'll be looking at selling that. Um, but I think more importantly is it's just a fun rip and there's a lot of potential with this. So Definitely never seen a product like this where you have packs upon packs upon packs. So it is kind of a neat rip. It does make a mess everywhere, <laughs> but um, but definitely a fun thing. I think even the base cards, you know, the singles, since nobody's buying a ton of this and making sets of it, you can, um, a lot of these rookies and even some of the vet cards for the collectors of those guys, you're going to see people paying, you know, more than the normal you would for a, a base chrome or something like that. So so yeah, if you saw some cards on here you like or for your team, uh, go ahead and check the eBay store. A lot of this will make its way on there over the next couple of days, if not by the time you see this video. And as always, thanks again for those that support the channel by buying stuff through the eBay page or clicking the like button, subscribing, sharing it with your buddies, posting it on Discord. Appreciate all the help there. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. We're on our way to 2000. We'll be doing a giveaway when we get to that, including some Topps Chrome. And who knows what else by then. We don't know what football cards we'll have by then. That's a whole other topic. But, um, yeah, Topps Pristine, definitely a fun rip. One of the most unique products you can buy out there right now. And um, definitely worth, if you can find somebody selling the packs, I'd say go in for just one pack. you got a 50-50 chance in auto, and you're going to open three packs in one. So, anyways, glad I did that. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments or let me know what you've ripped out of yours. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.